Hi, this is Andy from GNA Numerical. In this video, I'll demonstrate the solutions to the mental arithmetic questions of practice test four from the Department for Education series. The answers to the other questions in the calculator section of this test are given in a different video, which is available for free on our website at qtsmathtest.com. As with videos one to three, I'll answer the questions within the 18 second time limit. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or even leave a comment. Practice question. A school minibus traveled 640 kilometers. Taking one kilometer as equal to five eighths of a mile, how many miles did the minibus travel? A school minibus traveled 640 kilometers. Taking one kilometer as equal to five eighths of a mile, how many miles did the minibus travel? Okay, so use the conversion rule they give you. One kilometer is five eighths of a mile, so 640 kilometers is 640 times that amount. So 640 or 64 divided by 8 is 8 times 10 is 80 times 5 going up here is 400. During a school trip to Germany, each pupil was allowed to exchange 100 pounds into euros for spending money. The exchange rate was 1.06 euros to the pound. How many euros did each pupil receive? During a school trip to Germany, each pupil was allowed to exchange 100 pounds into euros for spending money. The exchange rate was 1.06 euros to the pound. How many euros did each pupil receive? Okay, so using the conversion rule they give you, we start at one pound and the target was 100 pounds. So we times by 100, one times 100 is 100 pounds. We have to do the same on the other side of the equation to match that. So we just move the decimal two along to get 106 euros. 90 pupils travel to an exhibition on two coaches. Each coach cost 180 pounds to hire. The total entrance fee to the exhibition for all pupils was 90 pounds. How much did each pupil have to pay to meet the total cost? Ninety pupils travel to an exhibition on two coaches. Each coach cost 180 pounds to hire. The total entrance fee to the exhibition for all pupils was 90 pounds. How much did each pupil have to pay to meet the total cost? Okay, so two coaches at 180 pounds each is 360 pounds plus the 90 pounds um, for the tickets. 450 pounds in total was spent. Divide that between the 90 pupils. We can cancel down to get 45 divided by nine, which is five pounds each. A test is marked out of 60. Pupils need 75% to achieve grade A. How many marks is this? A test is marked out of 60. Pupils need 75% to achieve grade A. How many marks is this? Well, 50% of 60 would be just 30, so 25% would just be 15. Add them together, we get 45 marks, which is 75%. Question 4. The school library is open for 5 hours 20 minutes per day 
on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and for six hours thirty minutes per day on Tuesday and Thursday. What is the total time the library is open during the school week? The school library is open for five hours twenty minutes per day on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and for six hours thirty minutes per day on Tuesday and Thursday. What is the total time the library is open during the school week? So we need three lots of five hours and twenty minutes. So split that up into the hours first. Five lots of three is fifteen hours. Three lots of twenty minutes is another hour. Two lots of six hours is twelve hours. Two thirty minutes is one hour. We add them all up to get twenty nine hours. A primary school concert cost eighty pounds for promotion, costumes, and refreshments. The parents attending each paid a one pound fifty entrance fee. Sixty parents attended. How much money was left for the school funds? Give your answer in pounds. A primary school concert cost eighty pounds for promotion, costumes, and refreshments. The parents attending each paid a one pound fifty entrance fee. Sixty parents attended. How much money was left for the school funds? Give your answer in pounds. Okay, so the price for the tickets is one pound fifty times sixty. So imagine it was one pound times sixty. That would be sixty pounds. Add another fifty p. Times sixty, that's thirty pounds. So the ticket sales was ninety pounds minus the cost of eighty pounds, just leaves ten pounds left over. A school sold copies of the class photograph to twenty-eight pupils in the class for two pounds fifty each. What was the total amount raised from the sales of the photograph? A school sold copies of the class photograph to twenty-eight pupils in the class for two pounds fifty each. What was the total amount raised from the sales of the photograph? So this is another partitioning question. So we need twenty-eight times two pound fifty. We split that up into twenty-eight times two, which is fifty-six, and twenty-eight times half a pound, which is fourteen. Add them together to get seventy pounds. Question seven: What is fifteen percent as a decimal? What is fifteen percent as a decimal? Okay, this one should be very straightforward. You need to be very good at and confident in converting between your percentages and decimals and fractions. If it's a bit tricky, just think of fifteen divided by a hundred. So fifteen, move your decimal one, two along, point one five, or zero point one five. In a year group of forty-five pupils, twenty-seven were boys. What fraction of the year group was girls? Give your answer in its lowest terms. In a year group of forty-five pupils, twenty-seven were boys. What fraction of the year group was girls? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So, in this question, we don't care about the boys. We need to know how many girls there were. So, the difference between forty-five and twenty-seven is eighteen girls. Eighteen out of the forty-five, we can simplify by dividing top and bottom by nine to get two fifths. We can't go any lower than that. Two fifths is the answer. Question nine: A teacher plans a cross-country competition. The course is three point four five kilometers long. Pupils do three laps of the course. What is the total distance run by each pupil in kilometers? A teacher plans a cross-country competition. The course is three point four five kilometers long. 
Pupils do three laps of the course. What is the total distance run by each pupil in kilometers? So we need 3.45 times by three. Um, it's probably easier to just add them three times so you don't get mixed up with where the decimal goes. Add them all up, you get 10.35 kilometers. There are 35 schools in a local authority. 28 schools have been inspected in the last four years. What percentage has not been inspected? There are 35 schools in a local authority. 28 schools have been inspected in the last four years. What percentage has not been inspected. So don't be tricked by the question. They care about the proportion of schools that's not been expect not been inspected, which is seven out of the thirty-five. We simplify this to get one fifth, and you recognise that one fifth is twenty percent. Question eleven. A school play begins at nineteen hundred hours. It has one interval of 15 minutes. The play is one hour and 55 minutes long. At what time does the play end? Give your answer using the 24 hour clock. A school play begins at 1900 hours. It has one interval of 15 minutes. The play is one hour and 55 minutes long. At what time does the play end? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. So from the starting time, we add on the 15 minutes, and then we it's easier to add on two whole hours for this um, time here, and then take off five minutes. So add on two hours to get 21.15, but not forgetting to take off five minutes, 21.10. Zero point nine of a year group of a hundred and eighty pupils took part in a school sports day. How many pupils did not take part? Zero point nine of a year group of a hundred and eighty pupils took part in a school sports day. How many pupils did not take part? So those not taking part is zero point one, which is ten percent. To get that, you just move the decimal place from 180 to just 18. So 18 pupils did not take part. So I hope you found this video useful. Answers to the calculator section of this test are given on a different video, uh, which is available for free on our website. Thanks for watching and see you next time.